carry out that kind of administration is because he wanted all of us to be indebted to him. If you read these scriptures that I'm about to read now, you are going to see that God deliberately decided to pedestal Jesus as ruler, as, as the warden, as preeminent. It is a deliberate setup in order for him to achieve that because it is in keeping with his eternal purpose. That everything in heaven and on earth and in the entire universe is ordained to reflect Christ. So in order for it to be so, he wants to make everything indebted to Christ so that the right thing to do is to accept his government. So you will see the way he is trying to set his dear son up in kingdom matters. So it is in him that we have what? Redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. That's one. That means if you will need forgiveness of sins, you will need to go to... So that kind of personality, because of his significance, as pedestal by his father, he doesn't need advertisement. You are the one that will realize a need for him and you will, you will migrate to his throne. Are you there? Next verse. He said, he is the image of the invincible God. I don't have time to explain that, but the meaning of that is that he's the definition of God. Is a full embodiment of God, and it is in him that God was defined. You know, the Bible says, God who has hundred times and in diverse manners spake unto the fathers by the prophets, through, by the prophets as in this last day spoken unto us by his son. So he's God's spokesman. That's what we call the testimony of God. The testimony of God is when God is talking about himself by himself. So in, in the last days, God speaks by testimony. He is the one that comes himself to speak about himself. And that's why there is a measure of God that is resident in every believer that is redeemed because God wants to speak by himself to you. There is a, an inherent discernment capacity that's in the, built in the heart of every genuine believer to test things and the meaning and the name of that capacity is the presence of God that is rooted in your spirit. So when I come here and, and I cry out, do not sin! Before I even preached, you knew that sin was wrong because so in the last days, God begins to speak to us by testimony. He speaks to us by himself. He speaks about himself to us by himself so that the possibility of enlightenment will be a body body reality so the bible calls him the image of the invisible god ah this man the man you managing that thing don't go to any scripture that i don't ask you to go to just stay where he's the image of the invisible god the firstborn of every creature I don't have time for that. It will take us too far away. He said, by him were all things created. By him. And it's only the Bible that is the only book in the whole world that makes that statement. That the father did not just, yes, the father spoke by an act of his authority, but there was a civil engineer that went in keeping with his decree and did the actual fructification of creation. The reason why he was involved with creation is so that every created being will be under his authority. Are you there? The reason why the author of redemption is, is, is so that every redeemed being will be under his authority. The reason why he's the author of forgiveness is so that every forgiving being will be under what? His authority. Because there is a difference between a normal sinner and a forgiving sinner. And there is also a difference between a normal believer and a consecrated believer. Someone that is living to serve the will of God. Such a person, are you there, is no longer living for himself. He's living to do what pleases God. 
he has moved from the realm of success is in the realm of fruitfulness because success means that you are using god to accomplish your ambition but fruitfulness means you are allowing god to do what he created you to be upon the face of the earth the fruit of the desires of god that begin to find expression through your life i don't just want to be a successful individual i want to bear fruit unto god the bible says it is by him that all things were created that are in heaven that are in earth visible invincible whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers then he gives us a statement there all things were created by him and what and for him that means the reason why i'm living the reason why i'm existing i'm actually existing for him not for myself so i need to go to him to find out how can i live for you because i was created by you so that i can live for you every life i live that is outside of the scope of living for you is is mutation are you still with me i know you'll not respond but it's okay it's okay hallelujah i said hallelujah you know the average believer in nigeria sees prosperity as a mark of alignment with god if you have some the reason why you have money to show you have a house to show you have a property to show uh, it's a sign that god is pleased with me hallelujah hmm. i'm going to show you from the bible people that were in alignment with god but what came to them was not prosperity persecution was what came to them are you with me I, I know you don't know persecution believers in lagos i know you don't know it you don't know what we're talking about you have never been asked to deny jesus so that you can live it has never happened to you. you never come close range with a situation that would challenge your faith so you don't know what we are talking about but you see we need to intercede quickly so that we don't have experiences of things that we don't like because i've been there before i've been there before i was almost killed then when you get back home if you survive it and you get back home you now think okay what exactly is christianity for which i am i was almost killed you would think you will reason you try to find out what is it about is it the dancing we dance in church or what is it that the devil is so afraid of that he wants me dead what what part of christianity the part of christianity that satan is afraid of is that you come to the realization of the fact that you were created by him for him not for yourself but for him are you there you would think like that someone like michael jackson because he's a great singer hip-hop singer when he gives his life to christ that god will use him in the choir you'll be amazed that god's definition of how he should have lived his life had nothing to do with singing it is only when you meet jesus that you will realize what what how you were expected to live for him may the lord help us in the name of jesus next verse there and I'll run back. He say he's before all things, and by him all things consist. The meaning of everything can only be sourced in him. Now the question is, have you found the meaning of your own life? Have you found it? Have you found the meaning? By the grace of God, as I grew in the Lord, I found a few abilities that God made available to me to function in. Right? Few abilities. If I get my man on the keyboard, I can begin to pick things prophetically and, and use it and bless you. 
I can do that for three hours. Just speaking, blessing people. We do that sometimes, you know. But you see, my assignment from Jesus, what Jesus created me to do, in terms of my own definition for my own life, what living for him is for my life, is that he created me to build capacity in the body of Christ. Now, even though I have more abilities, all right, those abilities are not as important as, you see, the Bible says that in him, all things consist. That's where the, everything gets its relevance, derives its relevance, derives its recognition from it is in him. Are you there? So I would like to stay in that place of fulfilling what he apprehended me to be according to his own definition. Not according to the definition of success in my generation, but according to the definition of the Christ. Next verse as I round up on this matter. He is the head of the body. Just in case you say, okay, I'm not just in the physical creation. I'm a member of the body of Christ. The Bible says he is the head of that body, that organism that God will have to possess in order for him to carry out activities upon the face of the earth. He heads that body. Are you there? All right. The Bible went further to define what the church is in this but i don't want to go there who is the beginning the firstborn from the dead and why all of this arrangement that in all things he might have what the prayer minister that's the objective of the book of colossians that if you have not found adonai master you are operating on a philosophy of mutation. If you have not found the master. So God set up everything and structured the administration of things in such a way that he will be in the pinnacle of the civilization of God. The reason why this framework was set in place is because God wants everything to reflect him. In fact... I don't have time to take you to the book of Ephesians to show you that the place where his throne is domiciled in heaven is the highest part of heaven. And the reason for which God deliberately installed his administration at that point in Zion is because God intends to fill all things. If you go to the book of Ephesians where God now unveils to us his, his eternal purpose and what he will be preoccupied attempting to achieve throughout time in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10 it shows us what God will be doing for all of time give me that scripture Ephesians 1 10 that in the dispensation of the fullness of times he might gather together in one all things in Christ that means are you there oh you're not with me 